60 million American workers covered by a 401k or similar retirement plan. And Brian Graff of the American Society of Pension Professionals and Actuaries warns that the tax benefits that go along with those plans could be on the chopping block in the tax debate brewing in Washington. And that will severely curb retirement savings. But financial advisor Natalie Pace of the Women's Investment Network says these are concerns are being way overblown. Both join us now. Make your case, Natalie. Why are they being overblown? Well, the only discussion going on about 401ks that I have heard of is in the Ways and Means Committee, and the Republican chairman has said he wants to simplify it, make it more efficient, and also get more contributions, not less. So I haven't heard anybody saying they need to chop the 401k. In fact, I really wish that the power of this organization and this website would be protecting our 401ks from debt collectors because there's no threat from Congress at all. Brian, are you overdoing it? Uh, absolutely not. Uh, first of all, the Simpson-Bowles proposal that you guys have talked about actually cuts defined contribution limit by 60%. The last time they did tax reform in 1986, they cut the 401k limit by 70%. All of these proposals, like capping deductions, like lim limiting the tax benefits associated with these plans, all of them impact 401k plans. The president's proposal, his budget proposal, caps the tax benefits for 401k plans at 28%. It's right in the budget. So basically we're saying people would not be able to put away as much as they had before because the minute you can put stuff in your 401k, that's money that can't be taxed, that's revenue that doesn't go to the government, but of course you as the individual suffer. That's your point. That's exactly the point. And the problem is if they take these incentives away, people are not going to save. In fact, research shows that it's the lowest income quartile that's most sensitive to the tax break. They say that if they don't get the tax break, they're not going to save as much. Natalie, uh, let's just say this, this does happen. Um, what would be the fallout? Would, would people save less? Would, would plans shrink? That sounds like a very iffy proposition. The basic fact is that we have to get this budget passed before the end of the year. Tax reform of the nature that would be required to reform our entire 401k system would require too much debate to get it done. So I think this iffy proposition is something that is really diverting away from the true reform that is needed right now. Um, again, I really wish the power of this website, Save Your 401k, was saving it from what's really happening, which is that people are draining it to try to pay off debt. That is a serious issue. That is something that we should be addressing. Congress, it is not going to happen before the end of the year, and that's when the deal has to be done by. But the spirit of Scott's question was, if it does happen, wouldn't it be negative for savings rates when it comes to 401ks? I mean, it would disincentivize people to save, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I'm not hearing anything that it's going to happen. Again, what's going on in the Ways and Means Committee is that they want to simplify the process, make it more efficient, okay. and encourage more contributions, not less. So they, this will be a battle, perhaps, but it won't be a battle this year. But they, I'm not hearing anybody saying that's what they want. And they had White House support. So this is bipartisan support to make it easier, more efficient, and more contributions into your 401k. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mary. Thank All right, you. Thank you.